Hello there folks, Nathan here. Hope you're all well and welcome back to unboxing videos here on my channel. And today we have something rather interesting to unbox. Now before I do get on with this video, I'd like to give a very special shout out to my auntie Patricia and my uncle Jimmy for this. Because they very kindly brought me this as a birthday present because it's my birthday in a couple of weeks time on the 20th of June uh, but they they gave it me early because obviously I went to see, visit them the other day so I thought well I may as well unbox it on my channel it's been a while since I've unboxed something new uh, unless you count the British Airways of course that we did the other oh, I did the other day but anyway yeah a big thank you to them it was very kind of you so, well, you can obviously tell what it is. It's a, uh, it's a stretch limo, isn't it? You know, if, you, if you know me well enough by now, you'll know that I absolutely adore stretch limousines. And if I ever get the opportunity to ride in one, I always try and take it. Um, but now I collect model limos too. Uh, this is my fifth limo. I've actually got another one coming off eBay as well that I ordered last night, but... Uh, that doesn't come with a box, so I probably won't unbox that one on here, but this one does. Comes in a nice box, so I thought, let's have a look at it. So, let's get on with it, shall we? So, uh, okay, so it's from Teamsters. So, stretch limo, opening doors. Oh, wow. Okay, so take the front doors and the rear doors open then. Ages three and above. Nothing there. Anything on the side? Again, Teamsters stretch limo. I'll have a look at that in a moment. On the back. Pretty much the same, isn't it? Opening doors. See what it says. Sorry. Uh, glare from the window is hurting my eyes a little bit, but um, I need it. I need the best possible lighting. Stretch limo. Uh, limousine du sectre. Strech limo. Limousine estrib okay that looks like saying stretch limo or stretch limousine in different languages opening doors uh, ports Devant. I'm not going to try and pronounce it I can't speak of it uh, I think that one's Spanish at the bottom puertas para abrir I think that's I think that's Spanish I hope I've said that right die cast metal Okay, well, let's get it out then. So, is it sellotapes? Uh, it is. So, let's just... There we go. Get it out. Now is it? Oh yes it is, yeah. It's got a nice background. It's on what looks like a road. And you've got like the city in the background. What a nice background that is actually if you wanted to display the model. You've got like the cityscape at the back. Now it's does require us to unscrew it so I'll do that now uh, there are it's just a little screw there so. Oh, 
I should have done this before, shouldn't I? I, think, I don't know whether I'm loosening it or tightening it. I might need a screwdriver actually. This doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, this isn't very good, is it? Screw doesn't seem to be loosening at all. I'm going to have to go and get a screwdriver. Bear with me. Try this. I don't understand why they screw them down like that. Playing ball, folks. I'm doing it lefty loosey, so it should it should come out. Let's try holding the limo. Let's see if that'll. I don't for the life of me understand why they they secure them so much. It's not having any of it. Oh Okay. Okay, well, we've got the limo off anyway. Just try and undo the undo the screws now. Mm. You can see underneath. Still got to get them off. Might be a bit easier now, actually. I don't I don't get why. Why are they screwed on so Oop. Well that is slowly turning, we can see it turning. Ah now we're getting somewhere. I could just there we go there's one screw out dear me I don't it's quite beyond me actually how why they would secure it down to the uh... the box like that Unscrew that yet. 
There's a bit more. We're getting there, folks, slowly. Slowly but surely. There we go. And now I'll we'll be able to just. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Dearing me! Right, well, let's have a look at the limo itself then. Now that I've finally got it off. And uh, I whacked myself in the head with the screwdriver. I don't know whether you saw that. It'd be a bit of comedy for you, wouldn't it? Alright, right, so let's. So, no, the bonnet doesn't open. Let's have a look at the limo itself first then. I'll start the front. Oh, wow. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? The lovely uh, detail there to the grill and the headlights. Traditional Lincoln. Lincoln Town Car. Does it say what year it is? No. Uh, there's nothing on the number plate. Yeah. Well, reminds me of my friend's limo, actually. Uh, shout out to Razik Ashruf at Jade Wedding Cars and Limo Hire. Or the other way around. <laughs> However it's pronounced. Uh, he's got a Lincoln limo that uh, looks like this. I'm going round to the side then. That's the front door. What that is in there? Does it do anything? Doesn't do anything, does it? Like make sounds or anything? No. I wonder why there's uh, like a see-through bit there. Hmm. Shame that lim that uh, window should be tinted really. Where's the back? And the back of the limo. Very nice. You got the. Uh... It looks grey on the. Uh... Why does it look grey on the video? It's actually white. Maybe it's because of the lighting. Fuel cap there. Yeah, very good. Shame the uh, the bonnet doesn't open. Yeah, I've got an opening sunroof there at the top. Very stiff. I'll leave that closed actually. Let's see if these doors open then, so... Yeah, the, fr the front offside door opens. I'm going to have a little look into the, the front. Uh, these are left-hand drive. As in all limousines. You can even see the little steering wheel. Some, there's a bit of dash detailing as well. Very good. No rear view mirror. It's a bit disappointing. Look at that. Is there any door detailing? There's a little bit of door detailing. Let's open the other side and have a look there. We've got the uh, Passenger seat there, but obviously a lot of limo companies do actually remove those seats. They do remove the passenger seats. Well, there's a bit of detailing. Look, let's have a look in the back. Uh, it's stiff to open. See, sort of see the inside there. Mm. 
have a look at the other side. There you go. Yeah, I don't understand why it's got that clear plastic part in the middle. I mean, it's not as if it lights up or it makes sounds or anything, so... I suppose they were being a bit cheapskatey and decided, I'll tell you what, we won't bother modelling the interior. And it's a shame that this window isn't tinted either. But it doesn't matter, a limo is a limo and... It'll, uh, it'll have a place in my collection. Let's have a look at the wheels. Quite a nice design there. Quite a nice wheel design. Both axles are driven. As you can see I'm turning the the far wheel. And they all turn. Same as the back. Any detail underneath? Not really. Got a little bit of detailing. Oh, is that like the drive shaft or something? Not much. Not much detailing. Just going to try and just put it on a flat surface camera. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't do anything. I did have a toy limo once that um, you put it on a flat surface and you'd press down on, I think it was the, rather the bonnet or the, the trunk, and it used to make sounds and the headlights used to flash. I mean, they're like see-through, aren't they, them headlights? So it's a shame, you know, if they had a little bit more enthusiasm, they could have actually done something with this limo. You know, they could have made it so it lit up and made sounds. And maybe the headlights could have illuminated, you know. But, you know, it's just meant to be... Well, it's just meant to be for kids, really. It's just a toy, more or less. But it's only that I keep them preserved and I look after them. Yeah, that's the whole reason why I collect them. So. What do I think, then? Well, I think it's a very nice... A very nice replica of a Lincoln town car. It's really nice. Uh, it's not as long as, you know, a, an actual limo. It's a, If this was a real limo, it would only seat about six passengers. But, you know, limos come in all shapes and sizes, just like shoes. But yes, I think that look nice in my collection. I've got two white limos now. So, yeah, you can, prob you can probably guess white is my favourite colour of limo. Um, I've, been in a, I've been in lots of different limos, but they've all been white. Well, some of them. Uh, most of the limos I've been in have been white. I've been in a pink one once for a friend's birthday. Um, I've been in a couple of silver ones. Yeah. Um, I would like to have a ride in a black limo as well. They uh, are... Well, you think of like American film stars, don't you? Turning up in these big long black limousines and you know, walking up the red carpet. But yeah, I think white is my favourite colour for a limousine because obviously they're more pointed towards weddings, really, aren't they, limousines? Weddings and proms. And I think white is just a nice colour for 
for a stretch limo and also white is a good color for a car because obviously white the color white it doesn't attract the heat as much uh, which is why you know in hot countries people paint the outsides of their houses white it's to try and keep them cool whereas if it's black or a dark color it seems to attract the heat more I learned this in a science lesson once when I was very, when I was at school um, so I'm not making it up I promise but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling but yeah it's a very nice model just have a a couple more shots of it, yeah. yeah. I love the back that I love. Yeah, I love the back of a, a Lincoln. It's just lovely. I love the shape of the lights and everything. And you'd have the reverse lights here as well, in between the number plate. But yeah, I can't say anything bad about this model. I think it's really nice. Um, I wish they'd have done a little bit more, they've skimped on the detailing a little bit, it would have been nice to have had, you know, something on the number plate, um, it'd be nice if that limo, uh, I keep saying limo, that window was tinted, so, you know, I had a bit more realism, but you've even got the coach lighting there, look as well. And um, yeah, that number plate. Could have probably done something with the number plate. But apart from that, it's not a bad model. Not a bad model at all. So once again, Auntie Pat, Uncle Jimmy, thank you very much for uh, for buying this for me. As I said, it's a, an early birthday present. Well, it was my birthday present, but I've had it early. Yeah, so thank you again for buying it for me. Um, it'll uh, go in my collection. Back wheel's a bit loose. I'll we'll have to try and tighten that up. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. We had a little bit of a to do at the start with trying to get it uh, out of the packaging, but we managed to get there in the end. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, and until the next video, whenever that may be, I will bid you farewell. <laughs>